Hey guys, hope you're doing well. If you ran into what I ran into, my Avid inbox right here, very reliable, um, served me well. It was rendered obsolete with the 32-bit to 64-bit uh, upgrade um, within Mac OS Catalina. So for those of you recording with Mac, this will be an issue for you if you're recording in 32-bit because the system no longer runs in 32-bit and your interface may not handle it. However, the Behringer UMC 22 uh, ended up being very easy, cheap, well, cheap is the wrong word, inexpensive solution for what I needed because it kept me around a $100 price point, which I was hoping for. Um, it has the amount of inputs that I need. You can record uh, with XLR or a quarter inch mic or a quarter inch um, jack. So like all the basic type of stuff that you would need for podcasting or recording solo instruments. If you need to record a, like a live setting with multiple instruments uh, and tracking with a few of the live ones going on, then this may need to be, uh, you may need to have something with more inputs than this one has. But for what I typically do, which is record these videos and record a solo instrument and then put that together with different sample libraries and stuff like that, this works out perfect. So around a hundred bucks is what it'll set you back. Um, in Australia, like I live in, it's gonna cost you a little bit more than that. I think it ended up being like about a 120, something like that. So, but yeah, um, I'll put some links up for where you can find the Behringer UMC 22. Um, I've been really happy with it. I think this will work out pretty well for you if this is the kind of recording that you do at home, um, maybe not necessarily multiple instruments at the same time, that kind of setup. So thanks again for everybody that has been subscribing to the channel. Um, things have been growing lately, so hugely appreciated. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Be excellent to each other.